Hi, my name's Steve Fenton, and I'm going to demonstrate the Perceptual Punch tool. So what we have here is a tool that will enable you to measure and modify punch within your productions, whether it's on a single stem or across an entire mix. So this is the punch in the punch tool interface. We've got uh, three metrics of interest. One is mean. So this is the mean punch frame score. So the top score here is the short term measure and the uh, measure below it is the long term program measure. Then we've got the P95. This is the actual instantaneous value of the, the punch frames as they're being evaluated. Then we've got P95M, which is the uh, P95 divided by the mean. And we've got the long term measure below it. Down here we've got sparsity. So this gives us an indication of how busy the mix is. So if you see a large number up here, then that would indicate quite a sparse mix. If you get a low number there, quite a busy mix. Based on that, as we get punch hits, if we uh, have a very sparse mix and a high degree of punch that's measured, then we would see a high percentage value appear in this measure here. Significance, this is when we detect significant change in punch frame as the material rolls on. So let's see this system in action on this single track here. So we'll notice down here we've got trans steady. This is the transient steady state ratio. So the bigger the transient with respect to the steady state, we start to see these um, green these green spikes appear down here. So this is uh, an indication of how much above the level of steady state that the transient is. So in a, um, as I increase the punch there, you could see that this level was was rising. You'd also see that this P95 score. And this this at this point here was where I lowered uh, the punch level and then you know, it, it went up as I raised it. So what we can also do is change the punch body. This alters the blend between the transient and the steady state. So the tuned element of our say a kick drum gets lifted, adds a bit more body, a bit more sustained to the overall to tonality and dynamic. We've also built in a, a mid side control so you can change the mid side of your uh, track mix if you like and we are primarily measuring the uh, punch based upon the mid so you can use this in quite a creative fashion if you want the thing that really becomes quite interesting is when we compare mixes so if I drop the plugin now on a new track and what I'm going to do is measure this series of audio files and how every single one of these audio files has already been loudness normalized to minus 23 LU. So if we would use a standard loudness meter, we would see this uh, uh, program level um, remain at minus 23. But in, in using this plugin, we're able to um, detail and look at the level of punch that's different amongst the tracks. So whilst two performances might have the same overall steady loudness, they'll have a very different punch attribute. So let's take a look at that. I'll also activate the significance so you can see when there are significant changes in the audio.
Baby just burst in the door and started whooping her out. Problem here? Y'all act like you never seen a white person before. Jaws all on the floor like Pam, like Tommy just burst in the door and started whooping her out. So hopefully when you listen to that series of songs, you were able to hear the differences in punch that was uh, that was within them, and you could also see the uh, the punch level rise and fall on this meter. This is a, a perceptually weighted tool, so what you see is actually should be what you hear. Um, so it's really relevant if you're listening to your mixes on much smaller systems or you're doing a mix on a smaller system and you want to make sure that the audio signal is going to possess some punch attributes so when it's played back on a, on a wide range of systems it's still going to portray that punch that you want in your in your mixes give us some feedback uh, there's a form in the user guide so please fill it in and email it over to us it would be just great to hear what you're using the tool for it's completely free and it's available for download at the Centre for Audio and Psychoacoustic Research at the University of Huddersfield. Thank you.